I'd like to look at a line of chord tones that are outlining A7 and then some ideas about uh, resolutions at the end. So this is just a stream of chord tones with a scale on top. And not until here maybe do we get a little uh, the introduction of an accidental. So I'm going to go through a few resolutions here at the end. But the idea is we have G, A, C sharp, E, G. And I'm hoping you're seeing that that's all A7 related. So A would be the root. C sharp would be the third. One, two, three. E would be the fifth. G would be the flat seven. So we're starting here just because of the availability of pitches on the board, starting with the flat seven here. And I'm gonna put the A on the second fret of the third string. Now this could be a part of a, if you know A over G or third inversion. So third inversion means that the seventh is in the bass. So this would be three, two, two, two. But we're just gonna use just three and two on string six and three. And we're gonna rise up to a non-chord tone on the fourth fret. This is a B. Now we're gonna rise up to the root on the sixth string, fifth fret, A, along with the third here at the sixth fret of the third string, C sharp. So it's an uh, interval of a tenth. rise up to the 4th or the 11th. This is A and D, 5 and 7. Now that D has to raise up to E, and we're going to get C sharp in the bass, 4th fret of the 5th string. C sharp and E, another 10th. And we're going to rise up to F sharp here at the 7th fret of the 2nd string. And we're going to now go to the next chord tone. We have a choice to make. I'm going to keep it here with A7 sounds. So E and G, 7 and 8, on strings 5 and 2, up to 10th fret A. And now here we can get flat seven again, this time with a B above it, and rise that up to the C sharp at the 14th fret. So we got 10 and 12 up to 14 so far. Now I'm gonna give you a couple of options. This is gonna make A suddenly sound like home. We're gonna put the leading tone of A, that G sharp there, which means basically E7. So this would be a first inversion E7 chord. So we had, so G sharp and C sharp 11th and 14th fret of the 5th and 2nd strings. And now here we have a little E7 chord. The implication is E7. This is 11 and 12. And we can resolve to A major. 12 and 14, A and C sharp. So that line would be... Introducing uh, the leading tone of B. So I skipped right from 
G and B up to C sharp, and then A with C sharp, lower that to B, 12 and 14, 12 and 12. And you can hear this little diminished chord or F, F sharp 7 sound. This is 13, 14, 12. So it would be the, the third, the fifth, and the flat seven of F sharp seven. And that would lead us right to B minor, the 14th and 15th fret, B and D. from G to E7, A, oh, I got all the way to D through putting another diminished chord in, or another five chord. This is way up here, 12 and 14, 12, now using this little, little Bach device. 13, 14, 12. Now 14 and 15, B and D. I'm just backing up melodically to the 14th fret C sharp. Way up here. 16, 17, 15. Now that becomes A7, kind of where we started. this has been something that's interesting, good for your ears, good for the fingers and fingerboard recognition. Hope you're enjoying your music today, whenever you might see this. And I wish you, as always, wherever you are and whenever you are, a very good day.